Mr. Saxena, uh, you made the statement, yes. and perhaps not many people would disagree with it, that even dogs can't live on 32 rupees a day. Now you've seen the clarification coming from the plan panel today. Does it satisfy you, Mr. Saxena? Not at all, in fact. Uh, this is a very confusing statement which has been given. What they are saying now is that this line will not be used for uh, various schemes. My question to them is, take a scheme like old age pension or total sanitation campaign, where the benefit is given only to those who are below this uh, destitute line or hunger line or starvation line, not to others. I'm, I don't think Mr. Jairam Ramesh can change these schemes unless he goes to the cabinet, unless he takes approval from the finance ministry. That has not been done. Okay. So therefore to say that all the schemes like total sanitation campaign, old age pension, national social benefit scheme, plus uh, you know all those schemes which are related to the BPL line uh, will be made universal. Take subsidy for kerosene. It is available only to those who have a BPL card. So I don't think uh, the statement reflects any change. You're the, saying, you're saying, clarifying. Mr. Sassena, you're saying that it's an unworkable uh, resolution because it would inevitably affect several key schemes. Is that correct? What, what I'm trying to say is that to, from tomorrow, there is no change at all. After a year or two years, uh, schemes do change. It is quite likely that some schemes which are only available for targeted population may be made available to more than targeted population. Okay. Uh, that's all. But let's also not forget that out of 200 schemes which Government of India runs, just about five or six are related or linked with the poverty line. So therefore, this, the, the furor in the civil society that as if all schemes are linked to poverty line was also not correct. Okay. But in these five or six schemes, like old age pension, like total sanitation campaign, like uh, your kerosene subsidy, there is not going to be any change, at least for the next six months or okay, so. Okay, understood so that. Let me take that. that sir, let me interject there. Yeah. Uh, sorry, and take that to Abhijit Sen, member of Planning Commission. Abhijit Sen, the question arises. We, we heard Montek uh, Singh Aluwalia and Jairam Rabesh repeatedly saying there'll be no cap on benefits. You've heard NC Saxena's concerns. And there's also an additional question that if these numbers are not going to be used to draft policy, as it were, or to put a cap on benefits, what is the purpose of these numbers? Because many people believe that it's the very symbolism of telling a poor country the 32 rupees and above makes you not poor, that is so galling? Uh, well, there are a number of questions you've asked. Now, let me actually answer the very last one first. And the last one is that we have GDP figures. Now, GDP figures are of no use to any individual, but they're extremely important for everyone who looks at the economy either within India or abroad to see how India is doing. Poverty figures are a bit like that and they have to be something which is rooted in uh, uh, a continuity has to be there to measure changes over time and over space. That is the original idea of any poverty figure. Ours is rooted in 1970s this might seem small and low, but they bear a continuity to living standards then. Okay. It's perfectly legitimate to say that they are very low for today's living standards, but continuity demands that we actually have some set of numbers. Unfortunately, for some time, we use this set of numbers to cap who can get government uh, eligibility to government schemes. Okay. And the choice of who these individuals were was not done on the basis of the dimension, which is uh, consumption expenditure, which is what is used to measure poverty for planning commission numbers. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com slash apps.